That was fun. And she got away with him too. Right behind that clinging cultist. She's there. She made it out. Good for her. This should be Rita's other friendly chaos. By the way, she won't buff herself. That's been clarified. That's going to be a very fun card. And it's going to be even more fun to just push human chattel to the front and let them absorb bolter fire. God, this is going to be very fun and frustrating with some survivor friends. Kill them fast. And the very, very cool one. This is a super unique card. I don't think there's, uh, I don't think there's currently a card quite like this in the game. So, to explain, the Athame will only replace the Warlord's activated ability. Or, if your Warlord doesn't have an activated ability, they will gain this activated ability. Any passives that your Warlord has, like Berserk, Sneak Attack, Battle Honor, anything that's just a static effect, um, or keyword like that, that will remain. And your Warlord will have this activated ability. If you're a Primarch, and this becomes your activated ability, even when you trigger your Whispers of Reckoning, this will still be your activated ability. You won't gain new activated abilities over this. But you'll gain any passives that might come with your changing condition. So for example, Conrad will keep this ability once he triggers his Night Haunter, but he'll gain Sneak Attack and Battle Honor. And this wouldn't replace an ability like Battle Honor. Just think of the possibilities with this. I'm going to try this on, well, almost everybody. Just just to have some fun with. You get an Athame, and you get an Athame, and you get an Athame. I just want to see how it'll interact. I'm sure we can think of something crazy. Let's get Athames.